everyone and welcome to another video of our facts only series. Today we are going to discuss the very important topic of performance enhancing drugs for athletes. I'm Dr. Mohamed Tinawi and you can find more about my background and publications in the description below. So let's get started. First, uh, let's discuss androgenic or anabolic steroids. Uh, these uh, hormones have testosterone-like effect. Of course, they're banned um, in athletes. Uh, the advantages of uh, anabolic steroids are increased uh, muscle strength, increased muscle bulk, uh, they might uh, lower muscle damage after a hard workout, uh, might make a recovery from a hard workout faster, they might enhance athletic performance. Now with that you pay a heavy price. Uh, the disadvantages are so numerous. I'm going to mention a few in men, gynecomastia, meaning big breasts, the uh, testicles uh, may shrink, the prostate can get enlarged, uh, you can have problems with infertility um, in women. The voice can become deeper. You can have uh, hair loss that can become permanent. Um, uh, and uh, you also have irregular menstrual periods. In both men and women, uh, they can have severe acne. Uh, bad cholesterol, LDL cholesterol, can go up while the good cholesterol, HDL, can go down. You can have problems with heart disease and high blood pressure. You can have issues with anger and violence. Also, there's risk of tendon rupture and depression. Next substance is androstenedione, also pronounced androstenedione. Uh, some people call it just andro. This is a steroid hormone. It is used to enhance testosterone production. It is also banned for use in athletes. The advantages, it might enhance performance and speed recovery after a hard workout. The cons, similar to what we talked about with anabolic steroids, acne, deeper voice in women, permanent loss of hair, so baldness, reduction in testicular size in men, and gynecomastia, meaning enlarged breasts in men. Next drug is human growth hormone, also banned. Um, another name for it is somatotropin. It is an injection. The pros, possibly, it can increase muscle mass and enhance athletic performance. So many disadvantages. Joint pain, fluid retention, diabetes, enlarged heart or cardiomegaly, high blood pressure, and carpal tunnel syndrome. Next is erythropoietin or EPO. This medication uh, actually... In my specialty, kidney disease or nephrology, we use it extensively because uh, our dialysis patients and chronic kidney disease patients are anemic, so we use that. Also, it is approved for use in cancer patients, and these are only the only indications to reduce the need for blood transfusion in chronic kidney disease patients and cancer patients. But athletes started to take that. It increases red blood cell production, so it improves oxygen delivery to the muscles, but uh, when athletes take it, it can raise the red blood cells to a very high level, and that can cause strokes, heart attacks, and even death. Next is a very popular substance, creatine. Uh, creatine helps the muscles make more ATP or adenosine triphosphate. This is how energy is stored in the body, and this is how energy is dispensed. So the idea is that creatine will help muscles, especially during weightlifting, during sprints. There's really no good evidence that this is the case. Uh, the cons, it can cause muscle cramps and weight gain. Some athletes might be happy with weight gain, but actually most of that weight gain is due to uh, water movement into the muscle. So it's not like an increase in uh, muscle weight. It's uh, more like water weight. At any rate, um, it is probably safe. It is not banned like other substances we talked about. Uh, probably uh, it should be used, if at all, at the recommended doses, and uh, it probably will not hurt too much and doesn't help too much either. Next is diuretics. Uh, diuretics should only be used by physicians when there is an indication, such as high blood pressure, 
heart failure, etc. They really have no place um, in the athletic uh, world. Um, so they have really no advantages. You just lose water weight that can lead to dehydration, muscle cramps, dizziness, low blood pressure, low electrolytes like sodium, potassium, magnesium, and phosphorus. And these uh, diuretics are also banned. Lastly, we'll talk about energy drinks. Uh, the pros are longer exercise duration, maybe less fatigue and more alertness. But especially when abused, uh, you can have many disadvantages. Dehydration, because these uh, energy drinks have a lot of caffeine, so you're going to urinate more. Insomnia, meaning lack of sleep. Uh, addiction, uh, caffeine uh, can be addictive and can cause withdrawal headaches. Palpitation, so you feel your heart beating. Uh, worse yet, you can have atrial fibrillation in severe cases. Um, high blood pressure and tremors. Uh, I'll provide a link uh, to a case I published uh, causing uh, muscle breakdown uh, due uh, to a high caffeine uh, intake. Um, so this is all. I hope that that was uh, helpful. So at the end, um, I work out uh, regularly and pretty strenuously. So what substance do I use? None. And I hope that you would do with the same. Thank you very much.